Today we're talking cozy mystery TV shows. Stay tuned. Hey, cozy mystery friends. I'm Ashley, and this is Cozy Mystery Tea Time. Thanks for joining me. How's your week going? I hope it's off to a great start. Everyone is out of the house today, all three kids, which is kind of a rare occasion. So I do have some dishes to wash and some laundry to fold, but I wanted to take a minute to touch base with everyone and enjoy our Cozy Mystery Chats. And hopefully today, no matter how busy your day is, you're going to take a few minutes to yourself to read something you enjoy. Okay, so let's get down to business. Today, I want to talk about cozy mystery TV shows. Now, I don't know if you're strictly a cozy mystery reader, or maybe you don't watch a lot of TV. We've definitely tried to cut down how much TV we're watching in our house. But if you're not watching cozy mystery TV shows, you're missing out because there are some great shows uh, for cozy mystery fans. And this is by no means a comprehensive list. There are so many shows it would take, you know, an hour or two long video just to list them all, not even talking about them. So whatever I miss, if you love a show that I didn't talk about, let me know in the comments so I can start watching it. Now here are, I think I've got four or five of my favorites. My all-time favorite that I will stop whatever I'm doing if there's a new show is Father Brown. Are you watching Father Brown? I love it. It's It's got everything you want. It's got a cozy English countryside village. It's got a great cast of characters that I just, I wish I knew and had in my life. And it's got some really unique murder mysteries. They're not just kind of, they're not cookie cutter to me. They're all, um, some are based on myth. Some are based on, um, you know, church legend or church uh, stories. Um, So it's a fascinating show to watch too. Okay, so Father Brown is a Catholic priest who services a small English countryside parish. And he also is kind of like the cat that had nine lives. He's curious. He wants to kind of be nosy and kind of figure out, you know, what's going on in his parish. And it leads him to get wrapped up in a lot of different murder mysteries. And what I like about him is we were talking earlier about um, not wanting a main character who's a sleuth just for sleuthing's sake. Like, you want the character to have a stake in solving the murder that's more emotional or maybe that's more just like personal to them. And for Father Brown, I love that, yes, he's curious and nosy and kind of likes to get into mischief. And that's why he's wanting to figure out uh, the, the mystery. But he's also really concerned in finding, you know, the criminal and kind of finding them before the police do so that he can maybe like help them through whatever led them down the wrong path. He's concerned about their, you know, moral soul more than he's concerned about maybe like police justice, if that makes sense. So it's got a heart to it too. It's funny. It's it's just a great show. What do you think? You know, it is based on novels that were written quite a while ago. Um, the series is set in the 40s and 50s. Uh, I, I've never actually read the novels, and I read somewhere that the novels are very different from the show, and that the character of Father Brown on the show is a lot more warm and loving and funny, and the character in the books is a lot more stern. So I kind of, I felt like I was deterred from reading the books. I don't know. Have you read them? What do you think? Okay, my next one is a new one for me, and I think it's a relatively new show. It only has one season. I really hope they uh, get two seasons. It's called Queens of Mystery, and this is a British television show. Father Brown is British, too. Um, I think there are a lot more British cozy mystery TV shows uh, and movies than there are American, and and I wonder why. I'm guessing it's because... I feel like with um, Agatha Christie being English, there's a lot more of a murder mystery heritage in England, and 
um, more than there is so here. So um, I actually stream a lot of my murder mystery, cozy mystery shows through um, different Amazon channels. I, I've never really tried to YouTube them. It might be an option for streaming them on online. Okay, so Queens of Mystery is such a good show. It's also set in a small English town, and you follow, uh, the main character is a detective, but she has three aunts who raised her, and each of her aunts is a mystery writer, and it's funny because each one writes a different type of mystery. Um, one writes graphic novels, one writes kind of sci-fi, and the other writes cozy mysteries. And so, you know, the detective is always trying to play things by the book and, you know, police procedural and be very serious about her job. And every time she turns around, her aunts are behind her kind of meddling and trying to get involved and end up helping her solve whatever case it, it is for that episode. What I like about this one is not only do you get the episode by episode uh, mystery plot to solve, you also have kind of a, a continuing story of the main character. Her mother disappeared when she was a child and they never found her. And so it's kind of hinted throughout the series that her aunts know more than they're letting on and her aunts are trying to protect her from finding out the truth. Now in the first season, I wouldn't spoil it, spoil it for you anyway, but you don't find out. So it's, I hope they have a second season so we find out more about that. I like that in a show. I like that in a book too, to have, you know, smaller mysteries, but also have kind of like a, an ongoing mystery um, that kind of builds suspense as the series or the book goes along. So I really recommend that one. Okay, my next one might be a polarizing choice because I've seen in the comments some of you don't like this show or don't like this book or absolutely love this show or absolutely love this book. And I'm talking about the Agatha Raisin series. Now, if you've read the Agatha Raisin books and you love them, you might not like the Agatha Raisin TV show or vice versa. If you read the Ag one Agatha Raisin book, you put it down halfway through, you couldn't get through it, you didn't like it. Give the Agatha Raisin show a try because to me, they're very different. In the book, I think that Agatha, well, just physically, she's different. She's a brunette. Um, she's kind of stockier. Um, I don't know. She's just, but in personality wise in the book, she's also different to me. She's kind of gruff and not very personable and doesn't really need people. In the TV show, not only is she blonde and not that stocky, in my opinion, <laughs> um, she's also kind of needier. Maybe, I hate to use the word whiny, but she's a little whiny when it comes to her love life. Um, a little more wishy-washy. But I think for a TV show, um, they definitely modernized the entire show, including her. And I think it does make her a little more human. So maybe if you didn't like Agatha Raisin in the book, you would like her. I personally enjoy the show. I think it's really funny. I think it knows what the, the audience is expecting from a cozy mystery type story. And they kind of play around with that and play around with your expectations. And I think that that's enjoyable. It's set in a cute English town. So you're going to get lots of shots of adorable you know, stone buildings and little cottages and, of course, a village fate, right? Every English show has got to have at least three or four village fates <laughs> and pubs and cute things like that. So it's got a cute factor that I enjoy. Um, also, in the books, like, her housekeeper is elderly, and I think everyone's a lot older in the books. And in the show, it's very modern, and everyone's, you know... 30s and 40s, um, maybe 50s. So they're younger and it's more, you know, today's culture. And they just, they, I feel like it's just more, it's more of today's time. So if that's your thing, I would watch it. I, I really enjoy it. Okay, my next one is 
actually not British. The last three have been British. This one is Australian, and it's the Miss Fisher Murder Mysteries. Have you watched these? They're so good. They're really good. They're I mean, it's a TV show, but these are like hour, sometimes hour and a half long episodes. So it's more like a mini series. It's set in Australia in the late 20s. And Miss Fisher is this absolutely gorgeous, um, you know, she's kind of wealthy, single, very modern thinking, forward thinking for her time. A woman who kind of stumbles into solving murder mysteries and then opening up her own detective agency. And it's worth watching this for the costumes alone. Her wardrobe is to die for. It is pure 20s, roaring 20s glamour. And I just love everything she wears. It's so beautiful. So for that alone give it a watch. But the murder mysteries are fun. They're fast paced. And I will say, you know, I really don't enjoy a lot of blood, a lot of gore in my shows. Um, And this one, I'm not going to say it has a lot of gore because it doesn't. It's definitely a cozy. But to me, it toes the line of violence. So if that's not your thing, maybe be aware that uh, this show has a little bit more of that than, say, Father Brown, which has none. So something to think about, but it is really entertaining, and it brings that period, that time of life, just just in full color. I love it. Okay, my next one is American, and I think it's the only American one I know of. Let me know if I'm wrong. The Murder, She Baked series of movies. Um, now let me, let me preface this now. I consider shows like Father Brown and Queens of Mystery and even Agatha Raisin super high production value. I think anyone could sit down and watch those. I'm going to be honest, Murder, She Baked is very much in the realm of Hallmark movies, which don't get me wrong, I enjoy. But, you know, the production value is a leaves a little to be desired and no one's going to be winning an Oscar for their uh, acting performance in the chocolate chip cookie murder. They're just not. That being said, as a cozy mystery fan, I enjoy it. These are set in Minnesota and it's set in a bakery. It's, it's basically, it's the, um, Joanna Fluke books brought to the screen. There's the chocolate chip murder there's the um, plum pudding murder mystery set at Christmas time. Um, these are just lazy Sunday. Get some popcorn, get the snack that you like, keep on your pajamas, and watch these. Um, they're just good old fashioned lazy fun. So I, I do recommend them, but just know that they're not going to be the high caliber um, of some of the other shows, which is okay, you know, but something to keep in mind. Okay, so those are my favorite cozy mystery TV shows. What are yours? I really want to know because I'm running out of shows. And I need something to watch, so let me know. Okay, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye.